Okay, so this is uh, the next problem. So a perpetuity uh, starts with um, a perpetuity cost seventy seven point one, and it says that it pays one at two, two at three, and so on and so forth until it reaches. Uh, n plus one with level payments of n throughout. So we know that this perpetuity immediate equation has two parts to it, right? First of which is that this part is a level increasing annuity, right? The funny thing is, is that this problem skips one for some reason, but we can just assume that um, one can be the comparison date as it, it is at time zero instead. So we're going to do 77.1 uh, equals to the level annuity of ni discounted back by V. Another reason why we could start at time equals one is because these are unit increasing uh, payments. There aren't any two interval stretches, three interval stretches, so it would be reasonable as to why we would set uh, T equals one as the comparison date. Now, the next part is that we have payments of N, uh, we discount it back by N plus one. It's also a perpetuity. Now, we know that the level annuity equation is A annuity due minus N times V to the N over I, multiplied by V. Now, we can convert this to one minus uh, V to the N over D, right? My, and then again, bring it down, N times V to the N over I, okay? We know that D is equal to I times V. So when we multiply V to both terms, we know that V crosses out for this part. We also know that when V applies to this term, it becomes uh, N to the V to the N plus one, right? So then it would be, one minus V to the N over I minus N to the V to the N plus one. Over I. Now we bring this over down here. And we can see that these both parts have the same denominator of I, right? So we could literally set all of these terms over one denominator of I. Then we see that both of these terms cancel out because they are the same. We also see that if we finally divide both of these terms, we will get 77.1 equals to uh, one minus uh, V to the N over I squared. Now we know that the effective interest rate is 10.5%, right? So let's start to solve. I am gonna square 10.5% uh, over here. 
So I'll do 0 0.105 uh, squared, okay, which is 0 0.011025. Then we'll cross multiply. Okay, and we get 0 0.8500275. Then we subtract one over here, which we get negative 0 0.1499725. Then we get rid of this negative here. Then we get 0.1499725 positive, which will equal to V to the N. Now, once we have this, we need to solve for N. So we're gonna convert V to the N as the regular format of uh, one over one plus i to the n, right? Which would mean that we would cross multiply, right? So we would bring one plus i to the other side. Equaling one over point one four nine. Nine seven two five. So we know that one over point one four nine nine seven two five is six point six six seven eight eight nine one one three. Now uh, for this part, it's one point one zero five to the n. Now. Since we made this equal to one divided by 0.144, we're gonna switch to logarithms right now to find n, right? So we'll do ln one over 0.1444, which we got 6.667889. Uh, so it's right here, so we don't forget. So we'll do ln 6.667889, which is equal to 1.89730318. Then we'll divide it by ln over here, uh, 1.105. And then we'll finally get n equals 19 as the answer. Um, it seems complicated at first, but once you know that this is a level annuity with no wider than one year gap, we could assume that time equals one is the comparison date. Uh, we can also say that this is a level annuity discounted back by V, the comparison date at T equals one, same over here as the second part of a perpetuity immediate. We have to memorize the level annuity formula, which is a double dot n minus n v to the n over i. Convert it to uh, convert this part to an annuity due with the d. Uh, multiply v to both sides until we get both of these equations. Figure out that this uh, part of the equation is the same as this. Cancel it out. Simplify these more while including 10.5% as an interest rate, use logarithms, and then we'll end up finding uh, n.